beautiful people it's yabo if this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys what and what it means to the ancient egyptians and i'm going to be saying ancient egyptian or ancient, ancient egypt or kemet so as to differentiate the africans from the arab egyptians that we have right now I'm sure if I ask you, if you are familiar with this word or the cross, and I ask you what does the ankh mean, you probably might tell me it is the key of life or it is the key mm -hmm. to life. If this is your first time of hearing this word ankh, well, this explanation is quite sufficient because the ancient Egyptians, they believe that this ankh is the key of life and it possesses living characteristics. So the ancient Egyptian, the ankh is a symbolic representation of both the physical and eternal life. And like I said, because it possesses living characteristics. Now, it is being worn as an amulet and it gives the wearer a form of protection from evil forces or even from wild animals and it is stated that the ancient egyptians the hunters or people that had things to do in the wilderness at night they actually have on the ankh as a form of amulet so as to protect them from evil if you research the gods and the kings of the ancient of ancient egypt you would see most of them having the ankh on because it is a sign that separates them from mere mortals because the ankh is being used in religious and cultural context through the usage of the word you understand that it's meant more than the organic life that we are living right now presently yeah it means it means to live it means blessing it means living incarnation of god if you look at the ankh it is a cross that is associated with isis and orisis Isis is the Egyptian goddess of healing and Orisis is the Egyptian god of the dead. Now, at times the ankh is being worn as an amulet and when it is being worn as an amulet, it gives the wearer protection from all form of evil forces. Also, it is being placed on the dead to energize resurrected spirits. Like I said, the ankh is associated with Isis and Orisis. If you research the gods and the king of the ancient Egyptians, you see most of them wearing the ankh. This is because it separates them from mere mortals. And the ancient Egyptians believe that whoever is wearing this ankh has a form of immortality being bestowed upon them through the ankh. It is believed by the ancient Egyptians that the energy emanating from the ankh can be absorbed by anyone around a certain proximity. One can say that the ancient Egyptians believe that the ankh serves as an antenna for the divine power of life that permits through the universe. Whenever a king died, the ankh is usually placed on the nose to serve as the breath of life given to this deceased king in the afterworld. So we can say that to the ancient Egyptians, the ankh was not just worn as an accessory, but it was used for religious and cultural rituals. It serves as protection for people and it gives life and not just the living, but it serves as a protection for both the living and also the dead. You guys can see that when the ancient Egyptians refer the ankh as the key of life, it's because the ankh itself is possessed life characteristic in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you've learned one or two things. From this video, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.